Christmas in London is an enchanting experience, brimming with twinkling Christmas lights, festive Christmas markets, endless shopping opportunities, and even more activities you cannot miss. Christmas lights adorn London like a magical blanket, and we've curated a list of the most iconic spots for you to explore. Most of these locations are within walking distance, but if you're not up for a few miles of strolling, you can also take a Christmas light tour. We covered most of the spots on one night and hopped on a bus on the next. You don't necessarily need to do both, but seeing the lights from a different angle was quite the treat. I'll share a link to a night bus tour that might be helpful. I've organized the lights in a way that if you walked them, you could see them all. There's a bit of backtracking, so you could technically do them in a different order if you wanted. Let's start at one of the most famous places in London, Covent Garden. This historic area transforms for Christmas with lights, an enormous tree and chandeliers. To make it even more festive, every hour, the illusion of snow appears as bubbles are released into the air next to the Christmas tree. Covent Garden is also the place to watch many talented street performers. Quick impression to warm you up, my impression of... Next on our list was Trafalgar Square. The famous Trafalgar Square Christmas tree, a gift from Norway each year, is adorned with lights in a traditional Norwegian style. It's a simple yet beautiful sight in central London. Here, there was also a small Christmas market. This is where things start to get really exciting. Regent Street is famous for its elegant spirit of Christmas angels. Regent Street's lights are among the most iconic in London. The street has a dazzling canopy of lights that make it a magical experience for visitors. Known for its quirky themes, Carnaby Street's Christmas lights are unique and full of character, often dedicated to different causes or cultural moments. Carnaby Street is a fashion and music mecca known for its unique style and lively culture. Nestled in the heart of Soho, it became a symbol of the swinging 60s as a hub for the swinging London movement. Fashion-forward boutiques and influential designers flocked to the street, giving it a cool, rebellious vibe. Rock and pop legends like The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, and Jimi Hendrix made it their second home, adding to its legendary status. The Carnaby Street Christmas lights are arguably the best lights in town. It's a must-visit spot for anyone exploring London. Next on our list is Oxford Street. Known for one of the city's largest light displays, Oxford Street's illuminations are a must-see. The lights cover the entire length of the street, creating a festive atmosphere perfect for evening strolls and shopping. Before I continue, I just want to say thank you for joining us here. Also, please feel more than welcome to drop us a comment anytime. We love hearing from you. And we have many more videos to share from different places all over the world. Please subscribe now to get notified of updates and new videos. Another place with beautiful Christmas lights is The Strand. The Strand is a historic thoroughfare running through central London. 
stretching from Trafalgar Square in the west to Temple Bar in the east. Notable sights along the Strand include Somerset House, a perfect place for holiday ice skating, and the Savoy Hotel. While we are on the topic of shopping, if you are a shopaholic, London is your dream come true. You'll find legendary department stores like Harrods and Liberty, which put on amazing Christmas displays and have incredible holiday-themed gifts. And guess what? If you're lucky enough to be there between Christmas and New Year, you can enjoy the Boxing Day sales, which are a huge hit in the UK. Just a heads up though, if you're not a fan of crowds, you might want to skip this, especially on December 26th and 27th, which are usually super busy. Let's stay on the shopping vibe, Bond Street. Luxury shines here. Bond Street's light displays have a sophisticated feel, often inspired by the classic elegance of its high-end stores. Now, I've got to share one of my favorite places to eat in London, Mercato Mayfair. Mercado Mayfair is another one-of-a-kind destination for international cuisine made from sustainable ingredients. Mercado is housed in what was once St. Mark's Church, which was deconsecrated in 1974. After an extensive overhaul, it is now a perfect stop for delicious food. There are lots of choices from European to Asian cuisine. Another excellent stop for food is the Barrow Market. At Christmas, Barrow Market transforms into a festive wonderland, brimming with seasonal cheer. The historic market, located near London Bridge, is filled with a delightful sense of mulled wine, roasted chestnuts, and freshly baked mince pies. Stalls overflow with artisan treats, from handcrafted cheeses and cured meats to vibrant Christmas puddings and indulgent pastries. It's the perfect place to soak up the holiday spirit, sample seasonal delicacies, and find unique gifts for loved ones. been hoping to visit the Ever After Garden, but this was our last chance as the garden was closing that night. These Christmas lights are a poignant reminder to those treasured friends and family that we have lost. We paid for some of the lights to remember our son Yuko and Adrian's mom and spent a moment to contemplate their memories. The Ever After Garden normally opens mid-November through mid-December and is located in Grosvenor Square in the heart of Mayfair. While not as festive as the rest of the Christmas lights in London, the 30,000 illuminated white roses are in many ways much more beautiful. I'll put a link in the description if you wish to donate. If you are in this area, you should definitely visit the Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park. This festive attraction features rides, an ice skating rink, food stalls, and markets. Finally, the South Bank. This is a notoriously cool place with a very cool vibe at any time of the year. But during December, the South Bank Center hosts a winter market and the riverside is decked out with many Christmas lights, creating a warm and inviting atmosphere alongside views of the Thames. London offers some lovely Christmas markets like the ones in the South Bank.
Leicester Square and Trafalgar Square, each brimming with handcrafted gifts, mulled wine, and festive treats. While charming, they tend to be smaller and a bit pricier compared to the larger, more traditional markets found across Europe. London is our absolute favorite place, and we wish we could visit more often. But if you haven't been to London before, or if you've only been in the summer, you'll get to see the amazing Christmas lights. We highly recommend visiting in the winter and experience all that London has to offer. Trust us, you won't be disappointed. Here are a few practical tips when visiting London in the winter, especially during the holiday season. First is transportation. Although London is a walkable city, getting around the city and the outskirts on foot can be quite tricky, especially since London is quite big, and this could affect you especially if you are pressed for time. The best way to get around London is to use public transportation like the London Underground or the tube, as it is commonly called. Or you can also take the bus. If you have Apple Pay or Google Pay loaded on your phone, you can use this to scan for payment at the gates. Or you can use your physical debit or credit card to tap to gain entry. The same payment mode applies for buses. If I were you, download an app such as TFL Go, City Mapper, or Google Maps. These apps help you plan your trips by plugging in your planned points of origin and destinations. These apps are great at letting you know what train to get and they have the schedules on there too. It will also let you know of any potential delays at each station. You can also use the world famous London taxi cabs to get around. However, be mindful of the fact that trips on the cab can be pricey. Rideshare apps like Bolt and Uber can be used in London too. London is a mostly cashless city. However, it may be useful to carry around a very small amount of cash just as a backup or if you would like to tip and or give a few pounds to buskers and street entertainers all around the city. Christmas is a chilly time of the year in London, and it's always good to have a warm jacket, gloves, and hat with you, especially if you plan to spend most of your time outdoors in the city. But one thing we would like to point out is that English weather is very unpredictable. I highly recommend wearing a waterproof coat or carrying a small umbrella with you just in case it rains. We hope you enjoyed this video and found our tips to be very helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and drop us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Also, your likes and interactions will help us with a YouTube algorithm, which will help us keep this channel up and running. This year, we will also be spending our first Christmas in Japan. And we also have new destinations to share with you, such as Provence. Guatemala. And Chicago, among many others. Subscribe now to get notified as soon as our new videos come out. Stay curious and keep exploring. Thanks again for watching and we look forward to seeing you again soon.